Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from World of VFX. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, you are trying to create this amazing environment inside of Unreal Engine 5.3. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. So guys, currently we are in 5.3 Unreal and uh, it's just a empty scene. So first of all, you need to go to File and New Level and let's click this empty level and then just simply press Create. So now you have a complete blank empty level. Now need to build the light setup. So go to Windows and then you can find Environmental Light and Mixer. Over there, you should select the minimal option, then create a skylight, then atmospheric light, atmosphere, volumetric cloud, and also a height fog. That's it. So these are the basic setups to create amazing Unreal Engine Lumen based sky and light setup. So if you notice the resolution of the clouds are very, very low. So before moving forward, you need to check on something on your exponential height fog. So just I'll type volume and turn this volumetric fog and make sure once you go to the skylight and simply type real time and make sure this real time capture should turn on now need to adjust the exposure so to do that go to windows and you can find this place actors panel over there simply type post and then you can find this post process volume simply drag and drop this will basically help you to lock the exposure so go to exposure panel turn this to and select this and type point 0.1 and this one also 0.1 so now your exposure is typically locked so now let's do some correction on our environment as i told earlier this uh, clouds are very very poor quality so before doing this just go to the plugins and you need to turn on one called volume and you can find this volumetric simply turn this on and obviously unreal engine will ask you for restart simply restart it now after doing this you can find one assets pack in your default starter contained pack go to engine you can find this uh, plugin and go down you can find an option called based on volumetric as you can see this is called volumetric content simply double click go to content then sky and then materials now you can see there are few number of uh, what you can say volumetric cloud assets now how to apply simply select this for example and simply select this volumetric cloud and go down you can find this option called cloud material so just back this to see how it will apply and then simply press this button and now automatically it start applying and now you can see the resolution of the clouds are pretty nice okay cool now if you want to change the light setup simply press ctrl and l and now you can move the light setup based on your demand okay so for now i'm just changing the light direction something like this and that's enough so now let's build a environment inside of unreal engine now to build the environment we are using quixel mega scan or you can call quixel bridge assets now i have already downloaded few assets earlier so after download those assets it will directly comes in your engine pack and if you notice you can find after download and import this in unreal engine 5 you can find this called on mega scan and then inside of 3d assets you can find these many assets which i have exported and imported into unreal engine 5.3 now to visible everything you can simply turn this static mesh option so now you can see all the assets just like this now to build something you need to focus which type of angle you are really want to do so for example i wish this is my angle and let's start making our first asset so first of all let's see i'm just drag and drop something so it comes like this and first of all if you want to rotate this simply press e on your keyboard and you can really rotate this something okay and if you want to scale this press r and you can scale this as per your convenience simply move this aside now press ctrl c ctrl v you can duplicate the asset and also i'm just rotating it slightly and then you can move this aside now you can just pull the camera a bit down so that you can see everything below the grid now after doing two asset what i preferred you need to create a level sequence because whatever you can see that should be from your camera view do not work on extra area so go to this level sequence click here need to adjust your level sequence name so let's name it to tutorial and then just press save so now you can create your level sequence now need to get a camera so simply click this camera button so what happened you can directly jump into your camera view 
now need to change very few settings simply go to this uh, dslr and uh, let's change the focus settings and uh, the lens settings so first of all let's change the minimum focal length to 22 and maximum should be 22 as well so this is basically a wide angle lens 22 millimeter and after that go down and you can see this is a maximum f stop which is 22 and minimum f stop 1.2 which is pretty decent and for now current aperture is 2.8 let's change it to 1.8 so it can create a complete decent level and also a prime level bokeh and blur effect. all right so now we need to give more assets as you can see in the screen and to make a really good foreground elements based on our this quixel mega scan assets and this will take some time so that's why i completely do this method in fast forward hopefully you guys will understand all right guys now you can see our basic fg environment is set up properly now let's jump into our camera view so this will look like from our basic camera view now we need to add a mountains completely in far so if you can you can download some mountains from any other sites like Sketch sketchfab and all but i have already downloaded one single mountain from megascan asset pack now simply jump back to our basic camera view and over there you can find this big giant mountain so to apply this first of all you need to go very far from our this because the mountain is pretty pretty large so that i can see everything properly so just increase the camera speed so that we can go very far now simply drag and drop the mountain here now you can see this is the mountain as i mentioned it's pretty pretty large now move this a very decent level of far experience now simply select our object and press f to go directly to your main view now change the angle again to one so that we can do whatever we want to do here all right as you can see this is the mountain and let's reposition the mountain as per our convenience now obviously whatever you do you just need to do it from your basic main camera view so now let's move it down move it here Control c Control v the basic plus point of this this is a very far so you can do whatever you can do with the help of rotating duplicating and all simply move this and you can see this start creating some amazing mountains over here so now as you can see i have created this mountain completely done so now also you can see there are multiple depths because i placed the mountain in different different depths so that the depth of field and the fog effect will generate properly now let's rebuild the light a bit Control and l and let's change the light direction so that let's see how can we make this more realistic how can we do this more realistic in this way now if you notice the exposure is pretty high so go to directional light and decrease the intensity to five so now it's feel like some moody light effect also you can do many times your light set of changes because this is the basic thing in this scene if you can't satisfy with your light setup the entire settings will lost so for me uh, i think this direction is okay 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 cool so now after having this you can do a lot of things like depth of field so simply go to your cine camera actor go down and you can find a lot of things first of all this is called focus or you can call this focus plane setup you can directly change it from here as well now simply decrease this so that you can automatically see your focus will shift so for now i'm just set my focus to this now see this is a big wide angle lens so whatever you can do the focus is matters okay so now if you go down you can find a lot of options like bloom exposure and all so let's turn on the bloom effect simply turn on this intensity and thresholds also if you increase the bloom effect you can see some bloom effect which exactly create in the mountains whenever you shoot and all so if you change again the light setup you can really feel how this bloom effect will interact with your scene now see this amazing look and once you render now i'm 100 percent sure it will gives you a proper cinematic experience because this scene is completely cinematic wise i am trying to create all right so now need to give a uh, like camera animation so first of all go down and go to this transform simply press the plus button go to last and i'll just uh, let's see what i'll do i'll just go to transform location and if i just move this in x axis slightly something like this and in y axis slightly so it feels like 
okay that's it done so now once you go back and play you can see the animation and if you notice the animation started very slowly so simply select this to right click and then linear so now what happened once you play it's just like this amazing literally amazing now you can place any characters over here to add some you know subjective over here but i feel this is more than enough and last but not the least i want to add something unique over here so just type a fire and you can find this p fire effect simply drag and drop this into your scene so it can create some fire effect from your scene so what i'll suggest it can be visible from here control c control v okay sorry and uh, let's move this another fire to a different you know depth so something from here and yes that's it and guys as you can see the render is started and once it will completely done it maybe look like something this and hopefully guys you enjoyed this amazing tutorial from unreal engine 5.3 and if yes, then definitely subscribe to our channel World of VFX for more tutorials. Definitely feel free to subscribe and make sure follow us. See you soon with some more amazing new content. Till then, keep watching, keep working World of VFX.